Hey everyone, Joey Bryan, Communications Manager with Nashville Steam here. Behind me, you may not recognize her, but this is NC and St. L number 576. Looks a little different from where we started a year ago. Let's take a look back and see why 2019 was such a banner year for the Stripe. So we uh, prepared the locomotive to be moved out of the park for about two years prior to January of this past year. The Mammut Company, which is internationally known for moving the heaviest of objects, approached us and offered their assistance in moving 576 out of the park uh, to restoration. They did everything in such safe and exceptional fast form. We can't thank them enough for their help. They laid a temporary panel track in front of the locomotive, pulled the engine out, then lifted the engine, put in supportive blocks underneath it, raised the entire locomotive in the air about seven feet, and then brought in a remote control trailer, backed it underneath the locomotive, dropped the locomotive down on top of that trailer, and then just moved it right over there into the parking lot, did the same thing with the tender, and then a couple days later, we were out here, hit the road on Charlotte Pike, and went down to uh, unload on the Nashville and Western Railroad. So after we prepared the locomotive for the move across town, Thanks to the help and cooperation of CSX Railroad, the successor company to the NC and St. L Railway, they were very gracious to offer the chance to stop the locomotive at Union Station for a day and have that grand reunion between the locomotive and the building that really put Nashville on the map. From there, we moved the locomotive over to the Tennessee Central Railway Museum with the assistance of both CSX and RJ Corman of the Nashville and Eastern Railroad. And now because of their help, it's on uh, the road to revival. The restoration is about on track where we had hoped to be. The locomotive is about torn down and we have done the media blasting on the boiler, cleaned up the boiler and hope to do the UT scan on the boiler early uh, in 2020, get a good reading of the boiler and see what needs work. There are several appliances that are, are already under repair. The Stoker engine is being repaired by VintageMachinery.com's uh, Keith Rucker. You can follow that on YouTube, as well as our water pump and the cab is off to Chattanooga. For 2020, we hope to continue the progress on the boiler, get a timeline going so we can have a secure timeline of what we need to do to get the locomotive back in operation. Go ahead and get some of those uh, mechanical components restored and ready for service. So once the boiler and the locomotive is ready, we can install them, get them ready to go. Hopeful to have the cab back in order so we can have it ready for the restoration. Also hope to remove both the engine and trailing trucks and get them sent off for refurbishment. The public has been very supportive of the restoration of 576. They recognize that this is a piece of Nashville and Tennessee history. They want to see it brought back to life. Country music legend Marty Stewart and his bandmate Harry Stinson. Harry is a uh, Nashville native and he's a big fan of the locomotive. Came in here and played on the locomotive as a kid. They wrote a song about 576 called The Duchess, Queen of the Dixie Line. They premiered it at the Country Music Hall of Fame during Marty Stewart's residency. It was an incredible performance that has really boosted both the locomotive's persona and also giving it recognition among the uh, music industry as well. Our Tech Tuesday posts have been very successful and we followed those posts with a new YouTube series we've called The Road to Revival that looks at different aspects of the restoration, both mechanically and also the people that are doing the restoration, different historical stories to go with the locomotive and the railway. That's been very successful and we look forward to continuing that into 2020. We have raised over a million dollars for the project to restore uh, NCN St. L number 576 to operation. This year we received a $300,000 matching grant from Rich Tower of the Candelaria Foundation and Wick Mormon, former CEO and executive director of both Norfolk Southern and Amtrak. And we are well on our way to hitting that goal of by the end of next year to completely match that $300,000. From now through the end of 2020, every gift of $1,000 or more is matched dollar for dollar. And that's the best way to support the project of 576. So every penny counts. Uh, every donation goes towards the restoration of 576 to bring this back to life. If you want to get involved with the restoration of 576, we welcome all members. Uh, anyone interested in wanting to know what it took to both build and maintain these locomotives, uh, get involved by going to our website, nationalsteam.org, to our uh, support, uh, get involved section. And from there, they follow the directions of how to become a volunteer. Hi, I'm Shane Metter, president of the National Steam Preservation Society. And 2019 was an awesome year for the organization, and we couldn't have done it without your help. We want to take this time and especially thank our sponsors, our donors, and everybody that supported us in this endeavor. We look forward to an exciting and productive 2020, and we'll keep plowing forward. Thanks again.